can you break it down to someone who doesn't know anything? I, I don't know anything about informatics. I just heard it. So what is nutrition informatics? Yeah, that's good because I, I copied it from, from their website so that I had, you know, this is what they say. So nutrition informatics is the intersection between nutrition, information, and technology. Um, and believe it or not, every NDTR and RD is utilizing nutrition informatics. If you use a computer in any kind of way, if you're doing any sort of analysis, whether that's in your clinical practice or you're working in food service or anything like that, basically if you're using Excel, you're, you're doing nutrition informatics. Um, so it, it, even though it sounds like this new, brand new concept, believe it or not, you're probably working in informatics in some way. And then, you know, some nutrition professionals, you know, like myself, hopefully want to make that our primary area of practice. Um, and there is a small but mighty and growing group of people who are in the DPG. And so it's like, there, there's a community around this. So um, it, they called out for student liaisons because the practice group, I think, is only like two years old. It's very young. And they're like, we need student perspective. Um, and I immediately signed up. I was like, I got to get into this. I got to talk to people about this because I don't even know what I'm getting into. And um, somebody else was um, also interested in the student position. So I also, I have a co-student liaison, which is super cool. Um, she just graduated and got accepted to her RD internship. So it's really wonderful to work with her. Um, and, we're, and we're just having fun and, and learning and um, it's really cool. So if, if anybody is interested, I would be happy to talk to you. We are a small but mighty group. Yes. Yeah. Join that group if you're interested. It sounds like it's, if it's new, it's, this is a great time to get into there and really get yeah. involved when things are new and growing. So what, what do you do with it? So you, great explanation, very simple. I loved it. But as a student going, like studying this, what do they say that you can do? What, what are the ideas? That, that is the scary part is you can do almost anything. Like I said, it is a choose your own adventure. Um, there's the clinical folks who are really interested in electronic health records. So if you're working in food service and you have any sort of food, food service management program, that's nutrition informatics. How does that um, you know, interact with the electronic health record? Um, if you're working in public health, how are you getting, you know, population health data? So then you're talking about how are you getting information from one place to another? Um, if you're in research or you're doing analytics, you know, then you're, you're talking about like machine learning, um, artificial intelligence and things like that. If you are working on an application, like a lot of nutrition professionals, we all use apps. Like I think almost everybody has heard of my fitness pal kind of thing. That's nutrition informatics. That's the intersection of, of technology and nutrition care. Um, I'm, I'm interested in public health informatics, which is, you know, how do you get information about population health to the people who can do something about it is really the simplest way to explain it to where the information coming from the clinician's office gets to a public health department to where they can start making policies and changes that impact population health. Um, and, and I think nutrition professionals are, are uniquely suited for public health informatics, especially when we're talking about social determinants of health um, food insecurity, food justice, and those kinds of things. I think we are uniquely positioned to weigh in on those kinds of topics. Yeah, you're doing a great job of breaking this down. I am following so well with your explanations. It means that you really know what you're talking about. Because if you can explain it to like a second grade level, <laughs> it means that you know your stuff. So, but I want to ask even, even further for a little more clarification. You mentioned doing apps and public health and sending, sending out information. So do you have to know like computer software or coding or like, what is the technology knowledge that you need for health informatics? Yeah. Um, almost zero to none. 
Like if you are a consumer of technology, you already know user experience, um, which is UI or UX design. If you're using an application that you can't figure out or your client or your patient is having a really hard time with, you already can weigh in on aspects of, of informatics. So really just as a consumer of technology, you are in a position to weigh in on how you experience it. Um, in terms of the technical skills, it's really based on what you want to do with it. Um, almost, I, there's maybe two or three people in my program who are, are very tech heavy folks. Um, most people are administrators or they're clinicians don't have a lot of technology experience, but they interact with technology every day. Um, there are some places where you can go, you know, like the DPG is one of them, but there is a HEMA, um, I forget what the acronym stands for, but they have a, a like a small course that you can pay for. I, I don't know how long it is, but a lot of folks in the DPG have taken this, it's called the 10 by 10. Um, and if anyone's interested, I can send you more information on it, but it's a good starting ground to kind of get your feet wet on, on the nitty gritty. Um, the other aspect that I would say is really important is regulation because healthcare is the most regulated industry that we have. And that's really the, the challenging part is the in and, ins and outs of the legislation and all of the regulations that go into healthcare. But in terms of technology, I wouldn't say that there is anything that you have to know. Um, even if you're not a tech savvy person, this is something that you could do.